This week on Atlas Weekly, Marvel drops a bunch of number ones, and the Avengers say, no more bullying. And I've got a sweet new kids book, 60s sci-fi goodness, Odyssey's back for round two, and Legendary. It's the story of a legendary dairy with haunted cows. What's that, Joey? It's actually a pulp book by Bill Willingham? Even better. I'm James Kohorek, writer of The Six Million Dollar Man Season 6. Visit us at Atlas Weekly for your new comics. Wolverine's number one is one of the biggest releases this week. It picks up from the end of all the Death of Wolverine tie-ins and is a weekly series moving forward, spearheaded by Charles Soule. If you're into any of the mainstream Wolverine characters, your X-23, your Dakins, your Sabretooths, or you're just an X-Men fan in general, you're going to at least want to check this issue out. It's time to get your Peggy Carter on. Also, Howard Stark in Operation Sin number one. It's a new series following the early origins of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it's a good one. Nick Spencer brings us Ant-Man number one. It's a great intro to the character of Scott Lang with hints at the greatness to come. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl is a cute book with Squirrel Girl in college also features Craven the Hunter. Apparently, she's unbeatable. Unbeatably cute. Angela's kicking butt and taking names in Angela Asgard's Assassin number two. We've also got number one, so it's time to dive in. Avengers No More Bullying number one is an all-ages anthology with all kinds of characters dealing with bullying in various ways. There's also activities. Check it out. It's also two dollars. My main pick this week is The Odyssey by Matt Fraction and Christian Ward. It's a retelling of The Odyssey, but with a sci-fi and a psychedelic art twist. Uh, we have number two in this week, as well as playing number one, so if you haven't got on the bandwagon, now's your chance. Check it out. Shadow Show number three is out this week. Now, you may be sick of hearing me talk about this book, but when it's got a story by Harlan Ellison, it's hard for the 60s sci-fi fanboy in me not to mention it. If you're in the mood for an original kids book with fantastic art, check out Feathers. The trade paperback of Legendary is out this week and there's a lot of great things to say about it. It's by Bill Willingham, it's steampunk, it's got pulp characters like Red Sonia, Green Hornet, Zorro. Check it out, there's something in here for everyone to love. In trade news, The Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Verse Prelude, and The Uncanny Avengers Axis Prelude are great primers for the events themselves. And speaking of Marvel events, Charles Soule and Steve McNiven's Amazing Death of Wolverine series is collected in hardcover. Being bad can feel so good. Check out Sinestro Volume 1 in trade paperback this week. Batman Incorporated gave me a headache, but the best headache ever. The whole thing is collected in an absolute edition this week. In toy news, Play Arts Kai has dropped two Arkham Origin figures on us. Robin, who does look a bit like Nightwing, but is cool nonetheless, and the Joker. We've also got this sweet $30 Batman resin paperweight. It'll keep your desk in order and looking super cool. In store news, we've got a massive sale going on right now. I'm calling it the 25 days of January because I thought it sounded pretty witty. From now until the end of January, you get 25% off all collections, trades and hardcovers, all games and all toys, except for the stuff that just came out this month, obviously. This does not include single issues, but back issues of Not the Fresh Back Stock are going to be 25 cents. That's it for this week, guys. Be sure to hit us up on the Facebooks and other social medias of choice floating around my face. Also, the winner of the Army of Darkness signed comic book was Jackie Wright. We've got it waiting behind the counter at the shop for you. See you next week. Mm -hmm.